<clears throat> okay, folks, uh, good morning, good evening, good afternoon. Uh, welcome. Just a quick uh, break in here because we just had a tsunami hit uh, Greenland. Um, we're going to go right over. Uh, we've got an echo here. Uh, we're going to go right over to the uh, report here. And um, thankfully, it wasn't uh, a large amount of uh, people involved. Uh, but still, nonetheless, uh, these are things to watch out for, uh, for our learning and training. Uh, let's say a quick prayer. Uh, dear Heavenly Father, um, please uh, bless all these um, situations going on around the world here, especially those that nobody knows about, Lord. Uh, please reach out to these people to um, be comforted and to uh, have courage, Lord, to go through these um, scenarios and situations and these um, most part devastations, Lord. Um, Please lead them to your son, Jesus, Lord, and please help others to, uh, to reach out to them to help them the best way they can, dear Lord. Please comfort them and have, help them to rebuild their lives. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Okay, so um, here's a situation a report of a tsunami, um, and then there's an update. It looks like there's a second update, so let's go through this real quick. Um, authorities in Greenland are, are assisting local residents after an earthquake off the Arctic Islands west coast triggered a tsunami. The earthquake struck late Saturday at a magnitude of only 4.0 according to the local geological survey of Denmark. Uh, hold on a second, let me make this larger so you guys can read this too. You'll have to see me. Okay, I'm sorry. Um, and Greenland. Danish news agency uh, Ritzel reported the quake struck about 30 kilometers north of the island of, uh, yeah, I'm not pronouncing that, Nuuk, Nuuk something, uh, home to about 100 people. Greenland public broadcaster uh, KNR said 39 people had been evacuated from Nuuk. Flooding was also reported near other settlements along the coast. A police spokesman said the Greenland capital, Nuuk, oh boy, Nuuk, uh, told DPA that he had no information on whether people were injured. Local residents in the affected area were advised to avoid low-lying areas. Helicopters and vessels have been dispatched to the area. This is a small area, folks. Um, every life counts, uh, so we have to, they have to act accordingly. And um, let's see if we got some buoys real quick. Don't go any updates. Uh, let's see if we get a, a buoy here. Buoy, come on, Mike, spell. I'm going to build this to you, bring this to you guys as quick as possible. Sorry for the whispering. Um, so let's see. Uh, Bowie, come on. Greenland, up there. Um, of course, there's a, there's a dead buoy there. The buoy is not functioning. And um, I don't see any buoy fluctuations. Uh, I think that's as far north. No, we can't go north, more north. Okay. Look at this. It, there's clusters of buoys here. A lot of them working. Clusters here, but none of them working. Two buoys. Are you serious? Two? Man. And we spend billions of dollars of taxpayers' money to do what? Alright. I digress. Let's get back here to, um, alright, let's get an update. Okay, so now update number one. This is something that's rapidly moving. We got updates already. Okay, it's an Atlantic North, Tsunami, Greenland. Um, the Danish authorities did report that four people are still missing and that... Hold on, let me show my Geiger counter off. Things clicking away here. Uh, four people are still missing and that two people were seriously injured. Seven others sustained slight injuries. Eleven houses have been swept in the water and are gone. At the moment of the tsunami, 101 people lived in Naug. 23 people are still in the village. The rest have been evacuated to Uma something. Although we have no registered earthquake in the area, the Danish seismologist, I thought they said this had a 4.0 or something. There we go. Services has confirmed that the Danish press that a 4.0 earthquake occurred in Greenland. Several villages have been inundated with water. One of them, the village of Nog, see picture, kilometers, 30 kilometers south of the epicenter of the 4.0 earthquake. The Danish police gives only limited information as they are trying to find out what exactly happened and how many villages sustained damage. 
Shortly after the news reached Denmark, the authorities have requested the population to go for higher ground. Yes, good advice. Green Greenland had similar tsunamis in the past. They were often caused by land or sea slide, except for the material damage. Uh, there is no news of injuries or fatalities, but uh, nothing can exclude. Uh, at the moment, the Greenland coast is sparsely populated. I'll praise God for that. But uh, this is what I'm talking about, this land or sea sliders. Uh, sea sliders is what we're concerned about here on the East Coast, coming across from the Canary Islands, uh, of that large um, volcano that's over there that slides into the Atlantic Ocean. Uh, we're, in, we're in a bad situation here. And there's no buoys out there to warn us. All right, now here's a second update. Four, four people are missing after a tsunami hit Greenland's west coast, police have said. The surge of water is also reported to have swept away 11 homes and villages. Police chief uh, said that they were unable to confirm whether there had been fatalities, according to the uh, KNR, Greenland's Broadcasting Corporation. The authorities believe the magnitude 4 quake caused the tsunami. According to the police chief, it struck off of uh, Uganak, a small island well above the Arctic uh, Circle. Meteorologist Trine Duhl Jens told Danish News uh, Ritzol that for such an earthquake to hit Greenland was not normal, as she warned of the risk of aftershocks. Emergency services were initially called. Um, folks, what does the Bible say? Um, There'll be um, earthquakes in diverse places. This is not normal. <clears throat> Did I just get a tsunami alert? No. Okay. All right. Um, not normal, she warned. Um, okay, so it's 2200, 22, uh, 15 hours local time, um, point 0.15 general mountain time, I guess, uh, to reports of major flooding the village. The Greenland Police Facebook page said, there were also reports of waves striking two other villages. Uh, the helicopter flying over their area reports big waves spotted about 24 miles off the coast. Uh, a total of 39 people have been evacuated, a number of injuries. Now, I'm on alert here now in Long Island because of this. Um, so we're going to have to keep alert. Those of you on the east coast of the United States, keep your eye out for these buoys uh, fluctuating. Uh, shamefully, there are none here. This should be a whole barrier here. See how they have a barrier here between um, these two continents? Okay, there is none over here. We need barriers here. They're here, but they're all disabled. Red means that they're disabled, not functioning, broken, whatever the excuse is. I don't need to know if the tsunami is going to hit me in 20, 20 minutes. That doesn't help me to get to get out of the way of it. We need them here. The whole, this road needs to continue up, continue up, etc. Crisscross patterns. Just like they do to the chemtrails, they need to crisscross the patterns to help us, not to kill us. Um, so there's a problem here going on, folks. Um, I'm going to up my game for alert levels uh, and put a plan into place. I'm going to go um, tsunami. There's going to be um, traffic. I'm going to get my motorcycle up and running. I'm going to strap pack a, a backpack on the back of that, a couple of bug out bags, and uh, get ready to go. If you don't have such a plan as this, you know. Um, you're fooling yourself. The whole East Coast of the United States right now needs to be on alert because they don't know where this came from exactly, how what the uh, uh, aftermath is going to be. If there's going to be a catalyst, aftershocks. Uh, so I am. Uh, here's something else. What happened? California, 2.4. Okay, so we're starting to get a lot of shake. Okay, here's the Greenland's flood. Okay, we do have a barrier here um, of a uh, protection here, right? Okay, so um, but again. No buoys. Where's the buoys up here? Going back to the buoys. Where's the buoys? It happened right here. No buoys. No buoys. This is a problem. All right. Um, are we going to be hit here in Long Island? I'm not sure. Um, thankfully, there's, not, there's very little population going over here. Uh, so let's see if um, uh, let's see what it says here for this. Uh, let's see if we get the um, little more information here. All right, so this is where it's flooded. They're saying it came um, from a different area, the, the 4.0. Uh, so let's get some more details. Okay, so this is just the same thing I just read to you with the updates. Um, I'm trying to find the exact location. Uh, that would be on the updates.
updates, I think I just read it. It's about 24 miles off the coast. <clears throat> Alright, so 24 miles off the coast uh, isn't very far, geographic-wise. Let's see if they got the tsunami update down below here. Uh, this hasn't even been updated. The tsunami information hasn't been updated. You know, it doesn't sound like a large tsunami, but if you're in a low-lying area, meaning your elevation above sea level isn't much, uh, you're getting affected. All right. Uh, uh, like we are here in Long Island. Uh, you know, I think we're three feet above sea level in some parts, and other parts, you know. At the most, 300 feet. All right, so let's see if we uh, we get a trajectory coming out. Got a lot of barriers here. This is good, a lot of barriers. But then, if it escapes and continues, uh, it's going to pick up momentum. If there's no underground, underwater, continued hills and mountains, because just like you know. Above water, there's hills and mountains, so so there are, as well, underground, I mean, under the ocean floor. Not under the ocean floor, under the water. Alright, so this is the route it could take going north. Newfoundland. Um, it's got a curve around here. Um, so, I don't see it affecting, unless there's some sort of channel here. Uh, that could channel this into this area, um, more than likely we won't be affected. So, I would say let's take a quick look at Google Earth now, and see what Google Earth uh, could tell us as far as that, that depth, that elevation. <clears throat> Give me a second. Okay, so, Google Earth, here's the tsunami, all right, now we're gonna not, I'm not going to zoom in first, but you can see on the bottom right here, give me a second, let me make sure you're seeing the same thing here, no, you're not, where is my, um, did this freeze up, how come you're not seeing that, oh, this is Google Earth, you can't see that, oh, man, um, uh, I don't know how to incorporate Google Earth into this, all right, well, you guys are just going to have to listen to my voice while I'm, uh, while I'm doing this. I'll uh, scroll down to this other screen for you. Meanwhile, zoom out a bit. Okay, something else happens. Meanwhile, uh, we'll keep you in the buoys. How's that? You see a buoy go off. Run. All right, so I'm, gonna, I'm just over here on the Google Earth real quick um, and getting an elevation uh, look. Okay, um, what am I looking, I'm looking for, uh, oh, they don't give this to me yet, uh, uh, they just give me the, um, uh, how high I am, so I have to zoom in a bit on Google Earth here, now, I gotta learn how to incorporate this into this video, I wonder if there's a way to do that, I'm sure there is, because uh, Dutch Sense does it, but he's got an app, I think, alright, so elevation, um, let's see, uh, Come on, let go. I see a channel here. We're looking at 9,000, 10,000, 11,000, you know, negative feet. So there is a trench here that goes between uh, Greenland and um, Canada here. Uh, there's a large trench uh, that this wave can flow into. Uh, and it's a darker blue, um, and it can come around. Uh, but let's see if it elevates here. Yeah, can come out. So there is a channel, so to speak, here. Um, but um, I don't, I don't, the only way I could describe it as like a large crater that surrounds the east coast of the United States. So the border about, let me see how far off, off the coast here. Uh, the border uh, about 100 miles off the coast. The, the east coast of the United States is protected by about a 100 mile border. I mean, an elevation that goes from, um, let's say, about 3,000 feet deep all the way down to about, uh, oof, 
to go about 15,000 feet deep. All right, so about so if the tsunami comes off the east coast of the United States, you have a um, this trench that goes from 15,000 up to uh, 5,000, 3,000, you know, about 5,000 feet deep. So you got a 10,000 foot incline it has to um, overcome um, in order to get onto the land as well if it's if it's a tsunami that's traveling in that trench uh, and then it has to travel 100 miles inland uh, to affect the people uh, that are living on the coastline there all right so that's good news um, so what I'm talking about here let me I'll zoom in on this I'll show you with this uh, in fact in fact you can see the trench here I'm sorry all right so let's see it's a shame I can't make this larger all right so the tsunami here that hit uh, has a trench right here uh, and it does go deeper up here um, but you see this darker area this darker blue um, that is a deeper depth of the ocean floor it's a trench uh, that travels all along here you see how this light blue and this dark blue all right so that trench that tsunami if it is deep enough can travel along this pathway here and look see this Atlantic Ridge it's sort of like think about skateboarders that go on a, a bank that that tsunami can curve around here um, if anything I would expect it more to be a threat to the uh, Caribbean islands down here if it did have that much strength I don't think it does there's a vast large 3,000 mile distance for that to travel um, if anything I think it would dissipate out here more in the Atlantic because it's um, Again, unless there's massive aftershocks, um, but for the most part, this is going to travel uh, and dissipate. If it does at all, I don't see it hitting the United States here on the East Coast because of that. But this other trench that I was telling you about, and which is sort of like a safeguard, and I don't see it here on the California side. That's bad. But we we here on the East Coast of the United States have this trench. See this dark blue? This dark blue is a... Uh, is uh, goes from like 3,000 feet deep to like 15,000 feet deep over here. So there's a 10,000 foot incline uh, steep that it has to travel up. That's a lot of resistance. Now it has to travel across 100 miles of a, a, a plateau, a tabletop, uh, of just 100 miles of uh, more distance to travel. Um, and then once it reaches the shorelines, uh, that's when the danger would start. All right, so there's a good protection barrier that we have there. All right, so it's been like uh, 10 minutes. Uh, let's see if we have any more updates uh, regarding this. Uh, worldwide, let's check the buoys again. Um, let's see if I just refresh this. It'll be quicker, I think. Okay. Again, there's no buoys here to, re to, to really give us any information. All right, uh, so let's see. Uh, um, tsunami 53 minutes ago. Again, this is a level zero. Why is it a level zero? This is our level of severity, uh, zero through five. This would be a level four. This is a level five of Yemen. What's going on with the epidemic for the cholera, which I just shaved. That I got. I got to go to that now too, folks. Because it seems like they're trying to play it down the uh, problems going on there um, I think they're probably being censored so they gave different uh, they gave different types of uh, numbering uh, in order to uh, I think to avoid that uh, red flag hold on a second I got I got a little text here about something I got to reply um, okay first I want to first Sell it here, so I gotta do this. Give me a second. I'm sorry. First and only. Um, Basin. S H R E B S H O R. Um. Make it a basin. No. Brand new. 
Okay, so no updates. Uh, let's see. Uh, oh, actually, I'm sorry. There was two. Okay, right. Still two only updates. And um, uh, let's see. They registered this in the tsunami. No, they didn't register in the tsunami. Yet, but where was that uh, 4.0? Uh, here, I don't see it anywhere. 3.5 in California. Uh, let's see if anything else is shaking over here on the East Coast, New Zealand. Um, I don't see anything in New Zealand, New Zealand, Greece, Bolivia, New Zealand, Chile. How many hours? So they said it was overnight, right? So, um, Let's see, Cambodia, Greece, Europe, Greece, 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 New Zealand, Turkey, New Zealand, United States, Hawaii, 4.0, Asia, uh, New Zealand, New Zealand, New Zealand, nine hours ago we're going back, uh, California, Tonga, Europe, Greece, New Zealand, New Zealand, United States, Greece, Chile, all right, four, seven, uh, ten hours ago. Greece. I can't believe what's happening in Greece. It just won't stop. All right, let me read you this um, this other report that I just had. Uh, event reports. What's that? Turkey uh, says 731 soldiers are at the west base are sent to the hospital with food poisoning. Are you serious? Oh my God! This just happened, folks. Uh, epidemic hazard in Turkey. Uh, a lot of Christians in Turkey there. Uh, prosecutors prosecutors said 731 soldiers at Western base were sent to the hospital with food poisoning and 21 uh, people from the company that provided the food have been detained. Oh my god, are you serious? Wait a second. This seems like to be a pattern here where these refugees twice these refugees um, have been poisoned by food. So it looks like this is another way the terrorists are starting to attack us. Folks, you know this is another lesson to learn here that um you have to carry with you um, the uh, activated um, charcoal. Activated charcoal is what they give you at the hospital. So all these 731 soldiers that are going there, the first thing they're going to give them is some activated charcoal and a glass of water to drink. I'm not sure if they do it by IV. I wouldn't think so. Uh, but that's going to absorb the toxins and the poisons. Uh, and this is easily for you to get. Don't breathe it in. It's a very thin powder. Breathing it in will kill you. Okay, um, all right, so there was a, uh, uh, let's see, I've titled this uh, Emergencies. Um, so, um, according to the, um, oh yeah, here, this is for this Yemen update, that this Yemen, uh, that nobody's reporting on, um, and it's getting so severe. Listen to these numbers. Um, according to this news agency, um, Affairs, pointed out that Yemen people's conditions in Raman, uh, Ramadan sa and said uh, this year's Ramadan has begun while many Muslims have not have lost their beloved ones and been killed due to the barbaric invasion of Saudi and uh, al Qafi uh, regimes who enjoy the full support of the US and the UK and their allies alright are you listening to this <clears throat> Muslims have lost their beloved ones and been killed due to barbaric invasions of Saudi and al Khalfi regimes who enjoy the full support of US and the UK and their allies okay so it, it's a proxy war um, that the US obviously supports every day we witness death and martyrdom of Muslims women and children in Yemen uh, Bahrain Saudi Arabia, Syria, Pakistan, by the hands of terrorists who have been trained by the U.S. and Saudis. In Yemen, about 200,000 people are exposed to cholera, and 100,000 are already infected, about 800,000 including women and children. So this is a genocide, people. These people are being wiped out. Um, I'm sure this, is, this isn't nowhere near... Um, as effective as a weapon. Uh, so, 
it looks like this water has been weaponized with cholera. Okay, how stealth is that, and how can, can, it's a, um, I would say almost impossible. They've had have to have factories of of waste dumped into this water for this to be this effective, um, including women and children in 19 provinces have lost their lives due to cholera. Uh, the number of infected may rise to 300,000. Who knows? Cholera is transmitted through water and dehydrates the body until the infected person dies. Uh, therefore, the World Assembly has decided to send four medical serums and some antibiotics uh, to each infected person so that the spread of the disease is stopped. However, um, uh, sending each person four different serums. That's good. Okay. Due to the poverty in Yemen and the destruction of the infrastructure after the invasion of Saudi regime to Yemen, which has put Yemen <coughs> excuse me, in an, in an aerial and naval siege, um, Alu Bayut World Assembly demands every international institution and organization to aid in the sending of medicine to Yemen. He also urged all Muslims around the world especially the Muslim nations of Iran, to help the bereaved people of Yemen, especially in the holy month of Ramadan. Folks, this isn't even in the news. Hundreds of thousands of people, women, children, um, have been exposed to cholera. This is, this is, this is a biblical proportion of, of, of catastrophe here. Um, and you know why it's not being reported? Because I guarantee you this is a stealth military operation to wipe these people out, and they're doing it. This is mass genocide happening, and no one's reporting on it. This, this Paul Begley started reporting on this. This has to be addressed, folks. It has to be addressed. Unbelievable. Um, there's a lot of other updates here, a lot of other things going on. I didn't expect to come in and do a broadcast like this, uh, but because of the situation going on, um, everyone needs to be alert of what's happening. Okay? Um, I think we just did this, Turkey, um, epidemic hazard in Turkey. Uh, yeah, that was the soldiers. Oh, boy. Folks, this is, this is, give your life to Jesus Christ, folks. Uh, this is not, uh, an easily, uh, navigated scenario that's going on around the world right now. This could be you, this could be your area, anything that could be happening at any moment. Um, check out this map if you want further updates. Uh, hopefully you can see that. Uh, technological disaster, Lake of Montana, wild forest fires, forest fires, USA, Utah, California, heat wave in South Korea, wild forest fires. Oh, here's another terrorist attack uh, in Colombia. Listen to this. An explosion at a Colombia shopping mall left three people dead and nine injured on Saturday. Um, called an incident which took place in the women's bathroom. Okay, they're placing bombs behind toilets, folks. Um, never know when your next one's going to be your last one. Uh, a cowardly terrorist attack said so the explosion caused by a device placed behind a toilet bowl. One of the deceased has been identified a 23 year old woman. Uh, spent the six past months volunteering in public schools. The woman who died also uh, were 27 and 31. This is unbelievable. Um, one is in grave condition but is expected to survive, and eight others with ser less serious conditions. It is unclear who is responsible. An anti-terror investigation is being conducted by the Col Colombian Prosecutor's Office. The U.S. Embassy in Bogota offered condolences in a series of tweets. And, you know... I got, a, I got a question. Is all this else going on a distraction um, for uh, this really, this big story, this big problem in Yemen, or this, uh, this cholera going on, this outbreak? <clears throat> it's getting nuts out there, folks, but I'm getting, uh, I'm going to go and up my level right now. I'm going to go and uh, get my motorcycle prepped and ready and uh, make sure I'm ready to bug out at a moment's notice uh, and you guys should do the same all right um, that's it so I'll, I'll, I'm gonna have to give you guys an update later and expect to do something today on Sunday it's gonna 
uh, do my physical therapy and relax, which I was in the middle of actually when this came across. So, all right, let's uh, get me on board here and uh, in the window. Why is there another window open? I don't know. And that was me, small version of me. All right, folks, give your life to Jesus Christ. Repent of your sins if you have not yet. Uh, let's say a quick prayer to your Heavenly Father. Please bless all these circumstances, these people going on around these world, Lord. Please have mercy, mercy, Lord, upon these women, these children, these families, um, especially those in Yemen, dear Lord, uh, during their religious uh, Ramadan, Lord. Uh, please comfort them. Please lead them to your son, Jesus, Lord. Uh, perhaps this could be a sign to them, Lord, that they are not following uh, the right way to get into heaven uh, and to uh, let it be an awakening call. I know your ways, Lord, are true and just, and uh, at times they seem barbaric to us in this human form. Uh, and that we help, that we help uh, hope that you help us to understand your wisdom and knowledge, Lord, uh, and your ways, uh, such as I'm sure you are doing this as well, uh, to guide as many as you can towards your kingdom. Um, unfortunately, it is at the sacrifice and the loss of others as well. Um, we know your son sacrificed us once and for all, Lord, through through the purchase of uh, his life. Um, we ask, Lord, that you please uh, not do any more of these Old Testament ways of sacrificing um, and help uh, help to reach others to the cross in other ways, Lord. Please bless all our viewers, Lord, and their families. Please bless their homes, their travels with mercy. Uh, please help them to maintain their homes, Lord, and to stop any, um, any bank foreclosures they have or anything of that sort, Lord. Uh, please bless them with an abundance of prosperity, Lord, with health and happiness and patience and endurance uh, during these times. Please bless their children, Lord, in a special way. We know how precious children are to you, Lord. Please comfort their children and protect them from Satan's evil ways. Um, please bless our military, Lord. Please bring our boys and girls home. Please help us to protect our own shores and not police the whole world, Lord. We need to build a wall here uh, and strengthen our borders and military here on our land, Lord, in our air and sea. Uh, please bless our president and vice president, Lord, and their families and extended families, Lord. Uh, please help them to uh, be protected uh, for, from you, from Satan uh, and his whisperings. Uh, please bless all uh, all those that um, are affected by them, Lord, that they may glorify and honor you. Please bless the people that they appointed to positions uh, in politics uh, and um, in legals, legal matters. Uh, please protect our uh, law enforcement, Lord, and uh, all our first responders especially those going to these major events, Lord, of outbreaks and pandemics and epidemics and forest fires and tsunamis, Lord. Uh, please protect those there, Lord, that are going to help others in need, Lord. All these things we ask. Uh, and one more thing, Lord, would help us to please baptize us with your Holy Spirit, Lord, and forgive us of our sins. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. All right, folks, we'll see you in a little while. Uh, keep yourself updated, ready, prepared. Give your life to Jesus Christ if you have not. Uh, get on your knees and repent of your sins. Um, accept him as your Lord and Savior. Uh, believe that he died on the cross for your sins and is coming back again. Um, and get baptized fully submerged in water. Get yourself a Bible. Um, get ready to uh, meet the Lord uh, at any moment. And get ready uh, to bug out in any moment, too. If you need emergency supplies, check out our website, worthingtonbunkers.com. Uh, and also, ambertracks.com. That's amber like the color tracks like railroad tracks ambertracks.com and um, <clears throat> our ministry website is onedropshower.org get yourself a waterproof bible and um, <clears throat> and donations if you if you uh, if you can share this video like it please um, let me just see what that was real quick i just saw another uh, another alert here in the bottom left <coughs> but it always doesn't register so quickly um, and here, if it was a quake or something, 29 minutes ago, don't know what it was. It could have been so many things, but it's not here in the emergencies. I could spend the rest of the day doing this, folks, with the, with all these updates. Uh, I'll do a quick refresh here just to see if it comes up in a registration in case it was something major here. <coughs> I don't see it. I'll report it later. Hopefully it's something not, not too late. 
All right, folks, I'll see you in a little while. God bless you. Be safe. Share this information. Get prepared. If you're on the East Coast, you just want to be prepared just in case. That's good practice. It's good for drills. You don't see these tsunami signs very often. Pay attention to them. All right, God bless you. Bye-bye.